Hey, this is Jordan from Visly. We just launched Design Instructions and Deep Design Mode powered by Gemini 3 Pro. These are both huge uh, releases for us. They're really exciting. But when you put them together, they unlock some things that um, I'm, I'm frankly impressed by every single time I use them. So let me jump right in and show you a few examples. Okay, for starters, uh, let me just show you exactly how Design Instructions work. So you come over here to the AI Assistant and in here, I'm going to uh, just paste in uh, this, this project context that I've created. And it has specific screens that I want, uh, different details about um, kind of the focus of the app, basically all the things that I want the AI to know. Uh, and then I can set up some other things like the, uh, the logo can be uploaded. I can add what platform this is designed for. So I want to specify that this is all going to be for a web app. And then I just hit save and I now have a set of design instructions that I can use for subsequent iterations or additional screens and it will adhere to these same rules, which is really important. Uh, let me show you an actual example. This is actually one of my personal um, workflows that I use with design instructions and deep design mode. So I've started here with design instructions for this app Cities N. So I'm actually starting in standard design mode because that's faster, it consumes fewer credits, and it often gives me a good baseline. So I can look at this and say, hey, these aren't bad screens, but I want them to be a little more engaging. So I turned on design mode, or sorry, deep design mode. And here, uh, I'm asking for this specific issue screen to be more engaging, uh, to inspire people to actually tap into the issue to learn more about it. And you'll see that what comes out is a lot more detailed, a lot more creative. Uh, and it really does follow the specific instructions I've given. And you'll notice it's added, for example, the read more uh, call to action to encourage people to actually tap into this and get more information about that issue. Uh, and so again, it's a nice workflow because oftentimes you'll get what you need from the standard design mode and you might wanna just modify something, make it a little bit better, a little bit more creative. And that's another where, area where uh, deep design really, really uh, impresses. In this example, I'm not actually using design instructions. I'm just doing a really quick uh, example of an HR desktop app that I want to make, and I want to make it fun. So I said to make it in the style of Minecraft. Now, this is just using the standard design mode. You can see that the quality of the design is fine. It's not bad. I don't dislike it per se, but maybe I want a little bit more uh, character to it. So I'm actually going to turn on deep design, and I'm going to run the exact same prompt back through the system to sort of show you the comparison here. And honestly, this is the kind of one of the first experiences I had with deep design, and it was absolutely mind blowing to me uh, to see just how creative the output was. So you can see that even the content that's in here uh, is super specific to Minecraft. Um, it's a blast. I think it's, it's a lot of fun to actually play around with these things. And again, uh, I love that I can come in and I can look at you know, different components that I like and I can remove them or I can save them as templates and reuse them again. Here, I'm just adding one back uh, just to sort of show that editing experience. So that's just a short preview of design instructions and deep design mode. Uh, again, really excited about it. Hope you guys get a chance to check it out.